Think you know which way it's going to go? You should head on over to Sports Interaction. When the puck drops, Sports Interaction has you covered. Uh, live in play. Live in play. But pregame. Uh, pregame. Live and in player on one of their many prop bets. I wasn't ready. On all major sports and prop bets. Want to bet? SportsInteraction.com slash STPN. 19 plus. Please pay responsibly. I'm keeping them on their toes. What do we want to talk about really with the Detroit game? Because it seemed like, honestly, it seemed like Detroit was outplaying the Leafs and probably should have. If, if the talent was equal, Detroit wins that game to me. But I don't think they had a great night from their goaltender. I don't think they have the talent the Leafs do and the finish and the explosiveness that the Leafs do. And they're a team on the up. They're a team on the up. I think the Leafs might have played a little bit better if, um, you know, they had to, if it was a bit more of a back and forth game, but it wasn't. They were winning almost the, except almost for right the whole at the time, except for right at the beginning. Um, listen, that's not the best way to defend a lead. I, I think we know that yeah. Detroit can score. Yes. Um, so I'm not surprised that they outshot the Leafs, but I'm not surprised the Leafs won. The third period looked like Iran playing the United States where they're just playing for a draw and Dude. the Leafs are just trying to run out the third period yeah. there and just hold 19 on. 19 to 6 were the third yeah. period shots. Yeah. It wasn't, it, it didn't feel competitive. It felt like they're just skating around trying to get laps in, waste this 20 minutes. So are we, uh, are we at a place because I got asked a question in my LFR video. Are we relaxed with Matt Murray and Net? Because my answer is I've been relaxed for a little bit, I think. Matt Murray has been very good. Yeah. Also, Elias Simpson is back. Uh, yes. I don't know today. if he's playing tonight. I think mm. it's Murray tonight. Yeah, but uh, he's back in healthy. But M Matt Murray has been very good, which is a revelation that I don't think anybody really anticipated. Not, dude, I didn't realize until i looked it up like last week i i had forgotten that the sens paid assets to get rid of them they mm -hmm. retained salary and gave up a third and a seventh which are dubas's favorite picks kevin papetti hates a first round <laughs> loves a seventh oh cannot stand when he doesn't have enough seven. take a fifth though for no him. not for that no way his it's favorite pick the 38th pick in the draft yes when he trades back that first 100 percent. Yeah. all right i want 38 and 47 oh yeah dubas's favorite picks ranked Number one, give me the 38th overall pick. <laughs> Number two, give me any seventh round. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if, if we ever had him on the show, I wouldn't ask him hard hitting questions. No. I want to talk to him about quirks like that. Like, okay, so Dubas. What's got wrong a, with you? You got a late round first. Yeah. How many seconds can you trade down for? Yeah. Why are you the way you are? Yeah. <laughs> I think we just ask him. Fun I want to ask like him that. about his office. I want to ask him about his office. Is he satisfied with it? It's a dungeon. <laughs> Call Shanny. You saw Shanny's office when uh, John Tavares was given the captaincy. It's this like mahogany, beautiful, condo-sized office that grandeur as you walk in that befits the Toronto oh. Maple Leafs and their 105, six years of history. I don't know. I think it's 105 yeah, years around there. Yeah, something like that. You sound like creature talking about the Malfoys. Yeah. Well, it's what it's what it is. And then and then it's like Dubas. You can have the basement. You can yep. have these cinder blocks. We painted them blue for you, though. Lucky you. Now, was that his office at, um, what do they call it now? The one in Tobacco? Because uh, it's not MasterCard it's not anymore. Ford Performance Ford Center. Perf I always forget. Is that, that was his office at Ford, yes. right? And everybody says to me, well, how come, how come you're giving him such a hard time? It's just the practice ring. Because it's the Leafs. And they have the money. <laughs> That's okay. Come on, guys. The whole thing they gave him a whiteboard of, and an Ikea desk. It should be made of marble. Yes. And be lit by a chandelier that only contains candles. It should look as evil as possible. And it should have something that Con Smythe said that is probably a little out of context, but like, through these doors walk the greatest minds in, in hockey. Ho in something hockey, like that. And win, and it's time to win. Absolutely. I'd like to see his office at the ACC, like, or Scotiabank. I'd like to see that one in comparison. You know, maybe that's his big one. He's okay with the dungeon at the practice facility. Mm. You know? The con my quote, I want you to make a trophy in my honor that players receive and then immediately hand to someone else <laughs> so that they can get the trophy they actually want. I think, I think maybe he didn't want us to see that office is because he wanted to be more relatable. You know? You know, like some I people, that's, some people want need to hide their wealth. too high. <laughs> I, and he wants to I be the everyman. Thought that much Kyle Dubas, the everyman. I think that is made up. I think I he, also get my clothes from J. Crew. I just, I just figured out Kyle? something that I want. What? I want a picture of the office that he had from the Sioux, mm -hmm. and we're going to compare. 
I bet they're the same. <laughs>